Hello. Hi. 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 Hello. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I look tired. Don't mind me. I've been here for a long time. Hello. Hi, everybody. Do you guys agree? Our election is stressful. Hello. Hi, Meg. I'm worn out, but I, we're good. Elections. I have to divert my own attention because I'm going crazier. Mm. Don't mind me. I'm just going to use my phone as a mirror while you're there on the other side of it. Hello. Sorry. Are you stressed? I'm finally out. I'm no longer. Great. Oh. Great, UP. How's everybody doing? Are you all doing okay? I look crazy. Can you flex? <laughs> no. <laughs> this is preliminary. I'm going to fold some towels. And then I have to bake cookies tonight. So I'll be in my pajamas next time you see me. Mm -hmm. No, I'm married. I wouldn't kiss my mailman. Do I dare ask if you're... Oh, my God. <laughs> you can't tell? Take a guess. Just take a long guess. You never can tell by the way somebody's dressed, but I, you know, just take a guess. I'm pretty political. I have very strong opinions. Uh, and I live, well, I live in a red state, which is kind of stressful. I don't know. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not with my, well, you 34. Oh, that is so sweet. <gasps> Thanks, Ivan. Hello. Thank you for that. Crayons, no. Reverse those numbers and you'll have my age. I didn't vote for Buzzy. <laughs> what happened? What did they do? I don't, I don't know what happened. But it's, I'm, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I am such a Democrat. I'm super liberal. I'm leftist. I am a progressive. I want, oh my God. I want AOC to be president one day. That there's a Gen Z that won an election. Youngest. And oh my God, I'm so happy. I'm so excited. And I'm mad at my fellow Gen Xers. <sighs> I I don't the whole thing with why are Gen X Republican man ready ready fucking followers <laughs> they're followers they're their buddies and they don't they don't want to be singled out they don't want to be different from their buddies and if they're in a red state then they're surrounded by them it's all the same like the color of eyebrows, match the hair. Thanks. Hi, Ivan. Did you vote? Did you vote for Beto? No, I'm. I'm not. No, I'm definitely not joking about um, anything. Really, <laughs> I have no sense of humor. Their brainwash us. <sighs> She's the right age, man. Lord, she's the right age. And I like her a lot. We need smart people like, oh, Morris. I was here the other night when you called her. I'm, I'm super happy. I'm glad. Thank you for being an owl. So great. Thank you for that. For saying yes, for sure. Thanks, you guys. Thanks. And fold it. I'm sorry you have to be in my little cabinet. Oh my God. I'm doing okay. I've been here since two, which isn't really supposed to be a long day, but it's an hour and a half earlier than normal. I don't normally come in until 3.30, and I've been busting my ass all day with only a protein. I'm so happy. El Paso is all... Oh, I didn't know that. Thank you for telling me, Ivan. I'm a staunch Republican. Should I leave you? Yes. 
think that you might you might want to. I, I, I have nothing nice to say about the Republicans today. I need a woman like that. What? Another late night? It, yes, Mars, it's going to be definitely another late night. It's... Uh, I have those cookies. I need cookies? Maybe a cake? I don't know. I'm going to eat my feelings. Oh, God. Oh, I messed up. What's your biggest pet peeve about people? Ooh, I like an open discussion. We can learn from each other. I've got nothing to learn from. Good fella. Hello. What is your biggest pet peeve about people? Dishonesty. Um, thinking uh, self-absorbedness. That's not how you say that, but self-absorbedness. People being self-absorbed. People thinking they're the only one on the road. Like, there's nobody else on the planet. You're the only one on this road. Oblivious. Oblivious. Yeah, people who live in oblivion. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense either, but yeah. Entitlement. Yeah, that's horrible. Are they really Democrats or Republicans anymore? It seems they're really just... There is, Morris. There is a difference. One tries to... One party tries to hurt and the other one doesn't. If the Republicans are going to keep an open mind, we might move forward as a strong country. Hi, I agree with that. Oh, man. Used to be a Democrat, was a true Democrat, no Republican is a true Republican. I don't... God. I don't know. On road. Yeah, right. It's crazy. Like, why aren't you paying attention? Why are you going 20 miles below the speed limit? Are you afraid? Why are you driving? I can't handle it. I... Yeah. Thank you for taking the conversation off the election. Thank you for the follow. I just don't have patience for it, man. If I, if I had patience, I'd have children. I don't have children either. So, here we are. <sighs> yeah. Also, I'm super... Uh... Yeah, I'm kind of an aggressive driver. I don't have any patience with them, so. And I love my horn. Let's talk about plants again. There's time. <gasps> I know, she's in so early. Pet rocks. I do have pet rocks. I do totally have pet rocks. Really? Thanks, Sam. Thank you. Thank you for that. I always feel like this lighting's always kind of big. It makes me look tired. But thank you. I think there are more people. Oh, uh, far right or far left in the media makes you think that. Pepe, you're probably right. I, but I live in a blue bubble. And I've been a Democrat forever. 2020 fucked me up. 2020 made me realize that we really don't have any power. And that's a long time to have... No faith. <laughs> God, can you imagine? Al Gore would have won. God. It makes me sad to think about. What did he do? <laughs> What's your favorite type of house plant? Um, I, favorite type of house plant? You want to go? Come on, let's go. I brought her here for my own house. I haven't named her. Do you have any suggestions? Um, I'm so happy you're here, Hellbent. Hellbent, I'm grateful for you. This is my Zyther cactus. She's going to be pink. I love, she doesn't require a lot. She's going to be beautiful when she blooms. She's a happy girl. And the Kalinkali. She's going to be yellow. And I've got red and pink ones, too. Serious question. What is your favorite junk, junk food? Pretzels? Uh, unique, specifically, it has to be the unique pretzels. 
sorry, I'm um, about respect, easy. And I, I appreciate it because it's the worst angle. Okay, the millennial angle right there. Yeah. Somebody asked me about my, the bug, like what's my least favorite bug? Probably, I mean, aphids. <laughs> my favorite house. I don't know what that is. Spider plants are cool. I just don't have one. You painted the ceiling. Must have been a nightmare. <laughs> I don't know. It's a great. And it's just, it's interesting. I like it actually. My hair. We painted the ceiling. I think there are more people. Are, oh, yeah. So thank you. Thank you for if you shared because it's saying, what is. What in your life are you most proud of not including anyone in your family? <laughs> Fair enough. A storied career, making people feel better about the way they look. I've been doing hair since 97. And in that time I've made people feel beautiful and that makes me proud it makes me happy it makes me happy I've been doing this for so long and I don't hurt that badly yet I have a pencil stick cactus it's about seven foot tall and wow that's a great name for it. I have a yucca cactus that thing wants to take my eye out I love it though it's cool see this line that is from a sleep mask I have to shower to remove that because it's pressed up against my forehead so hard. I can't get rid of it and I'm scared to death it's going to stay permanent. <laughs> That's a thing to happen. Yeah. Anyway, thank you for letting me divert my own attention. I should probably bring you back up because I can't read anything you're saying. A reward for making others. Beautiful. Good look. Yes. Makes me happy. Do you stop to breathe when you're do you stop breathing? I don't think I do. Do you have a I don't know, it's a Bluetooth sleep mask and it's great. Thank you for the likes, Helbert. Um it's a Bluetooth and I listen to meditations and ambient noises and stuff to help me sleep. Because I live about less than 30 feet away from a very busy street not that i'm complaining that lets me it helps me sleep but like i like listening to rain and meditations that's actually for that reason i don't know thank you for saying that roman no thank you pepe is that what that is is that a two-lobed sleep mask yeah, I, I don't snore. I feel like I would know if I snored. Yeah, I'm a pretty deep sleeper, though. And I don't have a recessed chin. I, I learned that if you have a recessed chin, you probably snore. I learned that on here, so I don't, you know, whatever. Ooh. It's too early for you. I know, I know. It is too early, but I have to, I'm doing this so I can go home and eat. Love and respect you like, thanks, Hobbit. What is the biggest tip you ever got? Oh my, sorry, that was loud. Oh. I mean, I've done pretty big ticket items, weddings. Whew. So those, I don't know. I get nice tips, um, but 
I don't know, probably a few hundred dollars, I would imagine, serving. I did that test twice, and I did get bad results. What, Vinny? Holy hell. But, I mean, if you think about, like, okay, well, if you have a ticket that's, like, $1,500 because you have all these bridesmaids, the bride and the mother of the bride and all this, travel 20 percent of that's going to be you know whatever math don't make me do math <laughs> so yeah hello thomas hello what's no good a thousand wait is that a billion dollars i can't do math it's too many i need a comma is that weird 10 million dollars i would love that how are you feeling tonight? I feel great. Thank you for asking. How are you? Do I have Johnny Rocket hair? I don't know. No, no. Don't mind me. I'm trying to stay focused. <gasps> Working. Hairstyle. And what else? I am kind of needing a snip. God damn it. You want to go on a tour? I forgot my thing up front. I hope I forgot it up front. I may have taken it somewhere and didn't need to take it. Let's go on a tour. What is your favorite movie that makes you laugh the most? Ooh. I don't know. What is my favorite movie? I have lots of favorites. I mean, I'm a weird laugher, man. I don't even know. It's like the dumbest shit makes me laugh. It's not in there. Beetlejuice. I do like Beetlejuice. I did lock the door. Great to meet you. My name's Kelly. Thank you for asking. What's your name? I'm going to call you Vinny. Where's my brain? Don't, I didn't mean to yell. Where the hell? Oh, I know. Pardon me. I've lost my mind. Ugh. I have a Contigo cup and cooking. Co I am making cookies this evening. Found it. Vinny! Yes. Yeah. I do the original Beetlejuice. I've got, yeah, pretty weird sense of humor. Wow. I don't watch a lot of movies that much anymore, though. Really? I've never seen Coraline, but I wanted to see it. Um, what, Thomas? What? It's okay. I lose my mind every day. I mean, yeah. Hi, Gary. Nice to meet you. Thank you. I love, Morris, I love that you told me to lock the damn door. I wish I could tell you what movie made me laugh the most. I'm not young. I need to watch that. I, I bet I will. I like that. What is your favorite podcast? Uh, it was Pod Save America, and then it was My Favorite Murder, and then my clients introduced me to some really great podcasts. There was another one that I, Other World, Other World, which is like ghost stories by skeptics. I'm into it. I'm into it so hard. Oh, were they? Wally. That was weird. I don't want to have to use my shears. What they look like. That's scary. Thank you for telling me. But now I have to murder somebody. And I don't want to have to use my nice shears. <sighs> I'm going to have to take my trash can. Sorry. 
All right, cool. It's not late. Why are you live? I know, I will. No, joking. I, I'm just sorry. Well, you can do that at my house whenever I'm home. I, I can't deal with that here because there's too many windows. I get weirded out. But most, it's a very quiet part of town. Okay, got the water, got the pretzels. Gotta wash my hands now because I touch things. Hi, Jeff. Hello, Marty from Kissimmee, Florida. What was your greatest life challenge and how was it made you? Have I, I love your questions. Although I can't answer that one because that one's more of a mental thing. That's not really that private, but I, I'm private about that one. But that's a the thing then. Yeah. What are you an an actress? What are you an actress? Mm -mm. Thank you for saying that. I like these earrings too. My husband got them for me. Good evening. I'm gonna call you. I'll call you troll, but I could call you trollist. I really, really, really want to call you trollist. Appreciate your authenticity. I, I am. I do. Thank you. I had to get it out of the air. <laughs> Sorry. Washing hands. Hand washing. Yes. Yeah. No face like Cal. I. Thank you. Somebody said I look. I would fit well in France. That's great. All you people in here, subscribe. We need to keep her on here. Thank you. Yes, please subscribe. Yes. Thank you for subscribing, Morris. Yes. If you can, subscribe to me here. Awesome. I would love it. I'd love for you to be an owl. But if you can subscribe to my YouTube, that's free. And I would also love that. Become an owl. Yes. Woot woot. A wise old owls. Hello. Hi, people. <laughs> Hello. I'm probably going to put this on the YouTube anyway. Thank you for the follow, Penny. Where'd I get this? Okay, good. Who in your life inspires you to be your best self? <sighs> My husband, probably. I don't like, this is very precarious. I'm going to try to... Hi, Jorge. Thank you for the follow. Sorry, this is going to be horrible and annoying. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Pardon. Now I'm going to look. <gasps> Perfect. Excellent. Thank you. Please stop. Cool. We did it. Sometimes you just feel like kicking. You had half the energy you have. Thanks, Mort. Thanks, Jorge. I just took my vitamins. Well, not really. I took them a couple hours ago. Pepe, I don't have an answer for that one either. I suck. I need to have better answers. I am in a salon, but it's my salon, so I can kick and do high kicks to stretch my legs out anytime I want. But I would have done that if I worked for somebody. I kind of, I did my own thing. What would yourself today say, to, oops, sorry, I didn't read that, your teenage self to give her support and encouragement? Also, that one would be a very deep conversation. What are your thoughts on the election? Why do you think they are stressful? Meg, just because I feel like 
it makes me resent the fact that Gen X's are all like a lot of Gen X are Republican and it makes me stressed out because Democrats don't vote in midterms. And that's a big deal. They got better, though. They're getting a little bit better. But I think that's Gen Z's fault. I think, you know. I don't know. Anyway, if you see these pretzel shells, please eat it. Get them. They're delicious. They're hollow. And super crunchy and delicious. It's just the best part. I do practice yoga. See that? And this is when it's all inflated. And this is like not. <laughs> They're great. I'm a Democrat. Because they don't try to harm people. I don't know. I just never vibed with Republicans ever. I believe in Democrats more. And I hate the Democrats in, right now. Like, I'm not a fan of Biden. I'm not a fan of Pelosi, but I was raised by a Republican, and they all vote. I vote like a Republican, but I'm a Democrat. But what, what happened? What did, what, why? What did he say? Uh, thank you. Was it political? I don't know what I did. I missed it. But were they being turds? The whole life. <laughs> Thank you, Albert. Was it offensive? <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, I don't know. What you believe in. I bet there's a lot of Republicans who don't know why they vote the way they vote. They just... But the Republican platform sucks. Like, why would you vote for that? It doesn't make any sense. My older brother, who is a Re Republican, once said, because he wants to keep his money. But he's not a wealthy person. That's... They only do that for, like, the super wealthy 1%. That ain't him. I don't know what he's talking about. Anyway, I'm not talking about I'm not talking. Okay. Did we get in the lava? No. Okay. Okay. Hello. Hi. Hello. Oh my god. Go on doing these lives, man. It drive it drains my battery so fast. Did this glitch? It got glitchy. Did it break it? I broke it. Sometimes I break things. Hi, Big Red. Hello, everybody. I think I have to... I have to do something. I hope I said hi to everybody like I was supposed to, like I tried to find everybody. Cat or dog person? Both. Animal person. Possum person. I have a cat. I rescue kittens. We feed all the stray cats in the neighborhood. Um, but we have elderly dogs. And they're super cute. Handsome. I have a blockhead lab. He's all black. God, such an asshole. But he's so great. T. Always T. Oh, Sin. Sin's here. Hi. Hi, Sin. Wow. This is so great. Hello. Hi, everybody. Thank you for being here. Thank you for stopping by. I made a lot of people mad. <laughs> but I don't mind. It's all good. It's right? Ty, seriously. So great. Sorry to be in your face. Man. Pepe, seriously. Popcorn or M&M? Popcorn. Always popcorn. I'm on here making popcorn, and I got made fun of because I eat a kernel at a time. 
we were at the movie theater and I was stress eating this popcorn. I had the bucket, right? Of course, bucket. And watching Inception at the Dollar Theater, and I'm just like shoveling this popcorn in my face while crying because I was emotional because I get emotional over everything. Hi, Dwayne. <laughs> yes, of course. I, I I love my I love my people. God. Anyway, so the lights come up at the end of the show, and I'm covered in popcorn. And it's I was so embarrassed. My face was red. I was covered. Oh my God. I was a mess. My husband, my friend who went with us, I mean, they were just laughing at me because I looked absolutely, I looked like a popcorn monster. And that was just what it is. Yes. I'm very lucky to know how that. Hi, Chill. Thank you for the likes, too. Oh, my God. You got <laughs> Thank you for the likes. My goodness, thank you so much. I'm so thankful. Hello, hello. Hi, Chill. Hello. I once had a shirt made of pop. What? Stan. What? What is the best advice you ever received and you try to live by it? My dad. Um, never again volunteer yourself it's he told me that when i was still in high school and it has helped me not spread myself too thin and i only do what i want to do i don't say yes to people out of guilt i it, it's easier for me to say no because i had navy in my head why how are you so hyper? Vitamins, sugar. And I have to keep this momentum going. Birds menace me all over. I bet. Dan, totally. When I fell on the stairs at the theater, popcorn. Oh no! Say that's horrible. Say I can't get over. You had a shirt made out of popcorn. Bat command. Is this hyper or just, you know, also I woke up at like noon. This is my time. <clears throat> Thank you, Blue Haven. Do you have affirmations that help you every day? I don't say them to myself. I talk to, to like the universe a lot, like the moon. I love full moons and eclipses and stuff, but affirmations, I don't have, I don't audi audibly say anything, but I do have like, they're kind of like wishes, but they're not. I made some tacos for dinner. Taco Tuesday. I attempted. Yeah, I was so embarrassed. I said, I went and got a s'more. I would have cried. Well, that. How was your dinner date with your husband the other night? Oh, where did we go? Did we? No, I wouldn't either. Yes. Thank you. I was answering that question. <laughs> My name means moon goddess. Really? That's pretty great. Hello, Vermont. Hi, JJ. If wishes were horses. I love horses. God. My, my cousin has like a horse, like riding and go right through the hills of Indiana. Grandpa just horse. I forget what they're called. But yeah, horse branch. It looks fun. I like, I, I want to take care of horses. I have a friend who has a horse farm. I just, 
I'm not, she's more of an acquaintance. I used to work with her. So I can't ask her, but I would if I knew her just, just a hair more. I don't even know. I, I mean, I assume we, we, did we get Indian that night? I don't know. I have pizza from the Sophia. Yep. And it makes sense because I'm just, it's great. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for noticing my energy. I, I'm trying to keep it up. Does this work? Neither, Pepe. It used to be vodka. I cook with wine if I, you know, if I'm making any a sauce or something. Um, but I'm not, I confuse wine and vinegar. It all tastes like vinegar to me, so I don't drink it. Um, but yeah, I've been sober for a few years now. Yeah. Elections are going bad. I know, Jessica. I can't even look. I won't look. But I'm, it's a midterm. It's predictably bad. So. I won't. I can't. It's a full moon. I, I have to have hope. I have to have hope that things will turn around and that the planetary shit that's happening is going to make some, is going to do some squirrely shit. I have to, I have to think, I have to believe in that. Is that weird? It's okay if it is. Keep moving and it will keep you young. Thanks, Dwayne. Congrats on being sober the last few years. Thank you. I love malt vinegar. Yeah, well, some vinegar is great. I love vinegar stuff, like pickles. I like briny things. I just don't enjoyably, like, wine tastes like those things. And I don't want to drink it. Like, I don't want to drink pickle juice. Yeah. Horse pressure. <laughs> Mercury is in Gatorade. Is it? I have to be careful getting home. You said vinegar, so my brain went with it. Yeah. Retrograde. I like saying Gatorade, too, though. And the pug had bones. I love that. That was such a great TikTok. It was in my head earlier. Yes, retrograde. Uh, Mercury and I are friends. I don't know. I, I'm, God, where is, she, where is Mercury in my... Oh. I have to look at it in my chart. I'll do that later. If you remind me, I will do that. My OCD, sorry. No, no, that's fine. But it is fun to say. It is fun to say Gatorade. Mercury's in Gatorade, but the bug had bones. Let's get this bread. Yes. Go ahead, Nick. <laughs> Mm-hmm. What do you like better, giving gifts or receiving? Mm -hmm. Giving. I like them both equally. They both have their benefits. Does your husband keep up with you? He's on a different schedule. He's more energetic than I am. I heard it's really, really good for you, Morris. You're totally in the jungle. Sorry. Pardon me. This is Ethel. She's, I, I thought she was a philodendron, but I'm, I'm, I could be wrong. Which, if I'm wrong, I, it's cool. I don't mind learning. Welcome to the jungle. I'm not saying I will, but no, I'm not. Mm hmm Man, I'm so glad I'm not watching. I'm so glad you guys are hanging out with me while I do this. So I'm not just like scrolling through TikToks, eating my apple and all that. Because I'll be here until midnight because that's what happened. And I have another early day tomorrow. Not as bad as today, though. Oh, that's amazing, Stan. We are, Dwayne. Thank you. 
Just putting sheets in fridge before ironing tomorrow. Sheets in the fridge. I know, I'm, I can't. Today is my Sunday and tomorrow is my, oh, then I'm sorry. Ma'am. I have Saturday off, but then I'm working on Sunday. Six days straight. I don't know. It'll be fine. It's going to be fine. <laughs> I just saw, we were talking about pickles, and I just saw this guy named Rick, and I'm like, Pickle Rick! <coughs> Cold keeps them fresh and crisp. I need the space, though. That's great. It must make them crisp. I bet it makes it really refreshing, too. Is it cotton? Are they cotton? Mm. Sorry. Yeah, I think it is because it keeps them kind of fresh. It'd be a minute. I get used to my schedule, but yeah, it's better. Yes, I'm happy for you. Uh, be a minute. I get used to my schedule. Making money. I love sheets out of the dryer. I like cold sheets. Cold sheets are great. Cold sheets will put me right out. Cold cotton sheets remind me of my grandma's house. So, so great. You're so soft. Egyptian, obnoxious thread count. <laughs> you never think about what, like, I think that was just marketing or is it true? Because a lot of those, I mean, if you go on Amazon, most of them is just polyester. I'm like, this is ridiculous. But yeah, I don't know. All I know is that they have to be soft. I don't care what the material is, as long as I stay cool. I usually am a furnace, even with my fan and my drafty ass house. I love my house. Don't mind me. Or sheets that have been on the line outside drying. That sounds like it would be great. I can't do that at my house. If I lived in the country, I probably would do it. But then I'd be afraid that people would take my stuff. It's not the 1950s. God. Paranoia. Sorry. Anyway, I get, I'm get. i done. I get to go home now. I'm going to figure out what I'm going to eat. My husband had fried eggs and rice, so I'll probably have something like that and eat the leftover pizza that I was supposed to eat. Love the smell, right? How do you handle customers that you are cutting their hair with personalities that are disrespectful? You know, eat tacos, Casper, do some. Ooh. I've heard about Casper sheep. Hugs, yes, Helvin, yes. All the hugs. I, I was on a whole Pepe. Um, how do you handle the customers? I. I get real quiet. I'm as chatty with them as I am right now, usually. But if someone gets real disrespectful, I gray rock them. That's just how I do things. It's easier to be get, become the get gray. You need to quit eating so late. How long do you stay, stay up after eating? A few hours. But I, I graze all day. Like, when I eat, I just, I keep grazing. I have snacks galore, and I graze like I'm a cow. I just take in calories for energy all day. Need a new horse? Of course I need a new horse. I don't have a horse at all. You need, but thank you. Thank you for your advice. I'm going to, man. Stand if you're on here later. I oh, yeah. Tonight's your Sunday, so I I might be able to make cookies with someone. If y'all are here, I'm gonna get off here and get home. But thank you for joining and thanks for hanging out. I'm gonna go get rid of this line and make some cookies. That was loud. Have a good night. Thank you, thank you. I have to go. Have a good night. Appreciate I appreciate you, Pepe. Thank you so much.
I need a horse to, for my quarry. Yeah, right? I was just thinking of you today. So happy to see you. Thanks, Joe. Thank you. Be safe. Will do. I may be back. I can't wait. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. I'll be back.